Um, the innovation trial um, was designed um, giving the, the fact that since more than 10 years, we know that adding trastuzumab to chemotherapy improves survival in patients who undergo palliative chemotherapy for advanced gastric cancer. But we know that um, patients who have locally advanced disease need as well systemic th therapy. Without systemic therapy, they have a very poor survival. So um, first, we treated patients with locally advanced disease, all comers with um, chemotherapy. Um, ECF was the former, former standard according to MAGIC. And this standard was um, changed by publication of the FLOT trial. But whether HER2 positive patients benefit from HER2 targeted therapy was unclear. And this is the scenario where we can really improve survival. So I found this unacceptable not to give a drug which we know that is effective in metastatic disease, but not to give it to patients who have locally advanced disease who have a chance for cure. So this is why we designed the innovation trial. A large effort, finally it took us over 10 years. It's 1203, um, it's called the 1203 trial because it was in 2012 that I presented the idea to the ERTC board. Um, we finally could start in 2015 the design of this trial is a randomized phase two trial. Primary endpoint is pathologic major, major pathologic response rate as assessed by an independent um, um, uh, pathology, pathology review. Um, and um, so patients were randomized into three trial arms. One was chemotherapy alone, one was chemotherapy plus trastuzumab, and one was chemotherapy plus trastuzumab plus pertuzumab. So patients um, treated with the antibodies were treated during perioperative chemotherapy, and then um, the antibody treatment was continued for a total of one year. The chemotherapy backbone uh, um, corresponding to the standard of care, um, which um, when we started the trial was cisplatin 5-FU. And um, after the publication of the FLOT4 trial, we um, changed the um, chemotherapy backbone to FLOT. So about half of the patients um, included in this trial were treated with cisplatin 5-FU. The other um, half were patients were treated with FLOT. And um, what we saw is that the major pathologic response rate in the patients treated with chemotherapy alone was 23%. In the patients treated with chemotherapy plus trastuzumab, it was 37%. And in patients treated with chemotherapy, trastuzumab and pertuzumab, it was 26%. And um, we finally found we um, could as well identify the reason for this relative lack of effic efficacy in the patients treated with the double antibody combination. This was um, most likely due to um, an insufficient dose intensity of chemotherapy. For example, the percentage of patients who were treated with, who could be treated with four cycles of perioperative, of preoperative FLOT was um, 93 percent in patients with f treated with FLOT alone, as well as in patients treated with FLOT plus trastuzumab, but it was um, only 80 percent in patients treated with the double antibody combination. And accordingly, the number of patients, the um, dose intensity of the chemotherapy drugs dropped as well um, in the patients treated with the double antibody combination. And this made a, um, a major difference. So um, what is interesting as well is to look at the results for um, according to the chemotherapy backbone, for example, for patients treated with cisplatin 5-FU, um, the pathologic, major pathologic response rate was 7%. Then in it increased um, by to nearly 27% um, by changing just chemotherapy backbone to FLOT. Um, but um, when adding trastuzumab um, to um, um, FLOT, the pathologic response rate increased um, for, the, um, for the step uh, to 53%. So really it seems that um, uh, 
um, FLOT chemotherapy plus um, trastuzumab seems the winner according to the pathologic response rate, but we don't have any results for survival yet. And I have to say that the adding trastuzumab, that the um, arm with the single antibody um, trastuzumab is a, um, this was an un, must be considered as an unplanned analysis because according to our statistical plan, we decided first to test the double antibody combination and only if the double antibody combination would be positive, then the single um, antibody um, combination would be tested. So this must be considered as an unplanned um, analysis. Nevertheless, um, I think this is these are important results and this is really the first trial, um, randomized trial, which randomized patients in the perioperative setting to chemotherapy alone and or chemotherapy plus trastuzumab. And now we need to wait for the results of progression-free and overall survival. Um, the patients are followed and yeah, we need some more two years about to uh, get these results. Um, I mean, regarding the subgroup analysis, which are new at this meeting, um, I think um, the overall number of patients in, in this included in this trial was too small really to um, and, and the subgroups, um, I mean, um, patients treated with cisplatin 5-FU and, was, um, and with FLOT was too small to really draw meaningful conclusions from the subgroup analysis. But one thing I can say is that it looks like if all patients treated with um, uh, um, uh, chemo uh, chemotherapy plus trastuzumab seem to benefit from this combination. Um, liquid biopsies are certainly very important and um, I, we would love to have them integrated in this trial and we had even an opportunity to do it but the um, uh, recruitment for this trial was um, uh, very difficult as for all perioperative trials and um, so, because of these problems with recruitment, um, after discussion with the ERGC headquarter, we, we could not do this in this trial just for practical reasons because we didn't, didn't want to make it even harder and even more complicated to, to treat these patients. But from a scientific point of view, I mean, uh, it would be really great to have the um, more info information about CD, CTD and RA, and I'm, I'm very much convinced that this will this biomarker will would be able to help um, to select um, patients um, for this treatment in the future.